Just Chanel here. Hey guys, it's Just Chanel here. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going grocery shopping for the 21 Day Sagittivity Challenge. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be sharing a bunch of challenge information with you guys, weighing myself, giving you before measurements, sharing my goals. It's just gonna be a great start to this challenge. I am so excited for the Snatchativity Challenge, mainly because I have never done any sort of challenge like with people. I've always done it by myself. And this is just exciting. Like I have to stay on track. People are watching. It's just like, girl, you cannot cheat. You need to get up and go to the gym, no excuses. So I'm really excited about it. If you guys are too, make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My goal is to lose 10 pounds during this challenge I don't know what my weight is but we're gonna see that sometime in this video uh, I'm hoping that I'm like 145 because my goal weight is 135 but either way I'd like to get to 135 so we'll see what I'm working with right now and I also want to lose inches of course I generally lose more inches than I do weight so I'd like to lose like an inch or two off my waist and then your girl is trying to like build her butt back okay I'm not saying it's got to be like that you know but I just wanted to exist a little bit you know so we'll see what my measurements are and I'm gonna set some goals throughout this video but I want to get to the store first get to the grocery store get everything that I need to start meal prepping it's sunday I, I feel like sunday is a great day to start a challenge you know what i mean and if you're not watching this on the day that we started it's okay because you can start really any day the way that the meal plan works is it just says day one so there's no day of the week that you're necessarily having to start on if monday works better for you go with that if thursday is a good day roll with that if you don't have your meal plan yet what are you doing i mean Seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> Go to tbox by justchanel.com, start the challenge with us, get your meal plan. There will be weekly update videos, weekly cook with me videos. It's just gonna be a whole 21 days full of health, wellness, fitness, and snatch activities, okay? I literally made that word up months ago and yeah, I'm just kinda, just kinda rolling with it, I guess. I decided to print my meal plan and workout program just because when I'm flying, I don't want to pull out my phone or my iPad to look at what my snack is for the day or what meal I'm supposed to be eating next. So yeah, I have a little hard copy here. If you're interested in a hard copy, it is on the site now. If you've already purchased the digital version, check the description box because there is a special code just for you. If you'd like to order the hard copy, it'll be a lot cheaper than, you know, purchasing like a hard copy. Just outright by itself does that make sense okay yeah because technically you already have the plan yeah um but if you'd like a hard copy which it'll come just like this like hole punch on a ring i wanted to make it this size just so that it's easy to like throw in your purse your work bag whatever the case may be you can even hang this on your refrigerator you know i mean it's super easy but um if you'd like yeah a hard copy it's available on the site for those who have not purchased the meal plan and workout program at all and also for those who have already purchased the digital download so boom, there we have it. Let's go to the grocery store before the traffic gets bad. <laughs> um, well, the traffic's always bad in Atlanta, so yeah. Also, side notes, if you guys watch me, I got an office chair and I'm really excited about this. So a lot of the videos during the 21 Day Snatchativity Challenge will be right here because I'm real lit about this whole, this whole setup. I think I may even change my couch, like move it, but okay. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Before I head to the grocery store, I'm just gonna take like a quick refrigerator inventory because yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't need to get everything that's on week one's grocery list just because I try to keep like the basics stocked. So like I already have garlic, minced garlic, some olives and Greek peppers for Greek salad. I know that that's definitely in week one. And then club soda. I pretty much keep club soda on hand. It's one of the only things that I drink other than tea, coffee, and water. So I don't need to buy any more beverages here. My fruit drawer, I probably should get some more strawberries. Um, blueberries as well for the green energy smoothie. I have some oranges. These are mandarins. I think halos which um, you can also eat for a snack if you wanted to during week one. Avocados, which I need to grab some more of, and lemons. 
and then vegetables i have like cucumber and tomatoes already because i like to make salads so i try to always make sure i have cucumbers and tomatoes I have an onion what else is down here oh a green pepper and then some green beans so i'm gonna go through the vegetable list and kind of see what i need oh i did not know that I had ground turkey back there. I need to put that in the freezer. And I have cheese, which we're not actually eating cheese, but this is good to know for week two and three. Some zucchini and squash, pineapples, which I need for the smoothie, eggs. And then I think I just need to get coconut milk. So I'm gonna go to the store and just go down my list. I already have things like olive oil, balsamic vinegar. I think I probably need to grab some pesto, yeah. So make sure you check what you have before you go grocery shopping each week so that you're not, you know, wasting money and buying what you don't need. And most importantly, I actually already have like salmon. I think there's four left in here. So that's enough for week one. I also have some shrimp, plenty of large shrimp. And this is cod, which week one also calls for cod. So I don't have to buy any fish because that's something that I keep Kind of stocked as well one thing i definitely have to get though is water like a lot of water so i'm kind of glad i don't have to get a ton of groceries because the water's really heavy <sighs> yeah okay let's just go let's, let's get out of here at my favorite grocery store this is the whole foods 365 market so it's like way cheaper and it's not as big so you don't get lost it's actually really small <laughs> and they have the best freaking blueberries like ever. Ooh, if I didn't already have halos, I would totally get these. Ooh, they're samples. But I mean, we don't know who, uh, you know, breathed on that. Y'all know coronavirus is going around, so don't nobody got time. All right, so the blueberries are like mad expensive, but they're so amazing. And I'm gonna use these for my protein smoothies and also just to eat. And then we're gonna get some more strawberries, which are actually on sale this week and they look amazing. This is where I usually get my fish. Of course, I'm not gonna get any today, but for the six fillets, it's 20 bucks, so $19.99 for the salmon. And then the same exact thing for the cod fillets. If you want um, mild caught salmon, of course, it's gonna cost more, but yeah. And I've tried the mahi-mahi before, it's cool. Never did tuna, don't eat tilapia. Wish I could find some catfish because I just want to have some so that when cheat day comes, I can make fried catfish. And we're not eating beef, red meat for the first week, but we'll be back in this area next week to shop. Ooh, look at this salmon, looks so good. But the other option is way cheaper and it's already like portioned out, which is really good, especially when you're sticking to a meal plan. Ooh, wait, hold on now kombucha okay i'm gonna get some kombucha it's not on the meal plan but if you already like kombucha go ahead and get it
So I am actually looking for cauliflower rice, like in this type of bag, the steam um, bags. I know they sell it at Publix, but they must not sell it here. So I did get the actual like fresh cauliflower rice, which this will be enough for the entire week. Uh, I don't know, I've never cooked it before, but it'll be in the vlog. So this is what I'm using for week one and then probably week two or three, I'll just get the steam bag, um, probably for a day that like I'm flying or something and that way I can make it in my hotel room. Last, never least, water. This is my favorite water. Um, the 365 alkaline water. Well, it's kind of like my second favorite, but then it really is my favorite because of the price. I love Essentia, but you guys can see that for a liter bottle, it's on sale this week. Oh wait, it's actually really a good price. So the 33 ounce, which is one liter, um, is actually on sale three for five. Oh wow, that is a really good deal. But usually I'll get the alkaline 365 water, which is only 169 for a liter and a half and 129 for a liter. So I'm actually gonna get both just because the Essentia is on sale. Uh, finish. This was actually really, really quick. Everything that I got. And once I get home, don't forget your skinny pop. Once I get home, I'm actually going to cut and wash all of the fruits and vegetables that they're ready to cook throughout the week. Makes it super easy when you've already done the prep. So I just came out to my car and my trunk is open. I'm like, that's weird. And it's interesting that none of the bubble wrap came out. <laughs> um, hmm, I wonder how long it's been open. But anyway, okay, so I have all the groceries and gonna load it up and go to the house. And my car is locked. It was definitely locked because I just had to unlock it like that. So that's very strange, okay.
All right, so I washed and prepped all of the fruits and vegetables. Y'all, my best friend came over here, made me dinner because this is the last day before the challenge starts. So tomorrow is officially day one, which is when you guys will see this video. But oh my gosh, I am so full. Y'all can see I have like peach cobbler on my shirt. We had macaroni and cheese that I made. Um, then she made baked beans, fried catfish some green beans and I made peach cobbler. It was all so good. I want to get a good night's rest so I can wake up and have my green energy smoothie first thing in the morning um, and really just, you know, stick to the meal plan, go work out tomorrow, all that jazz. So I'm going to show you guys the refrigerator real quick and then it's time for me to go to sleep and I will continue this vlog in the morning because I need to weigh myself. I need to get an accurate weight in the morning. If I do it now, I'm probably like seven pounds heavier and you're supposed to weigh yourself in the morning anyway. And I'm gonna take before pictures tomorrow morning. And I wanna do it the day before just because I want everything to be like spot on day one versus day 21. Refrigerator. Okay, so this is actually peach cobbler. We're gonna ignore this. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm gonna give it away tomorrow. But I have my coconut milk and almond milk, some yogurt, which I definitely recommend getting a um, dairy-free yogurt. But I already had this, so I'm gonna finish it off for the first week. Then I have milks back here, which I'll actually be throwing away because I'm not using any of that. So I'll throw that away tomorrow. I have eggs, pineapple, spinach, and spring mix here. I cut up my zucchini and squash, some fresh kale, my rice cauliflower, and then all of my protein and cheese is in this drawer, which I won't really be using until week two and three. My club sodas, I love those, kombucha and water. And then my produce drawers, fruits. This is really like fruits and other, and then my vegetables. So I am super pleased with how I prepped everything. Um, I love how the refrigerator looks just in general. And then of course I have some other like beverages over here and just little condiments and whatnot. All right, so I will catch y'all in the morning in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, guys. The day has finally come. It is officially day one of the Snatchativity Challenge. I just took my measurements. I'm about to weigh myself. So um, this is the meal plan, of course, that I printed out. I have like a laminated page in the back. I just decided to go ahead and record my measurements on this so I can kind of keep track of it. I suggest you just write this down somewhere. Um, if you have like an iPad or any sort of tablet, you can always edit the document and kind of like add your own notes anywhere on the meal plan. So I would say that's something you could do on the actual meal plan to keep track. Okay, so measurements. My bust is 35 inches, waist 28 inches. I also measure like my belly. So of course the waist is where like your you know, like the smallest area, I guess, of your midsection in a sense. But I like to measure um, around my belly button as well because my lower stomach is out of control. <laughs> so around my belly button it is 31 inches and then my hips are 40 inches. So those are my measurements. Um, my goal, I don't really know if I want to necessarily like lose anything around my bust. I would say if anything, maybe an inch. So to make that 34 inches and then my waist, I want to get down to a 26 because actually like a week or two ago, my waist was a 26. So don't know what happened there. Um, my belly, oh my gosh, I've been wanting to get my belly like under 29 for the longest. So we're going to rock with a 29 inch goal. It was 30 inches a few weeks ago and I was like, oh my gosh, it hadn't been that in like years. But uh, yeah, we're going to try to get the belly around my belly button to like a 29. And then my hips, I actually want them to stay at 40 inches. So let's go away my life. I'm also like keeping my hair wrapped and stuff because I'm doing fasted cardio this morning. So I didn't want to get all ready just because, yeah, I don't want my hair to sweat out. So I'm just going to kind of keep it like this while I work out. All right. So this is my scale from OK So You. Um, they sent me this scale 
about a year ago actually no it was about six months ago and i really love it it's super affordable i will leave the link down in the description box if you need a scale um but let's go ahead and do this mind you i have my phone in my hand so the numbers are going to be a tiny bit off 149 exactly um which means let me weigh myself without my phone too um of course i'll do this at the end of each week as well but let me put the phone down real quick i don't know actually it didn't make a difference <laughs> i'm still 149 okay cool there we have it folks <laughs> i'm 149 that actually is surprising like these last couple of days i have been eating so bad so wow i actually gained weight the last time I weighed myself, I was 143. That was only like a week ago. So um, um, eating bad definitely makes you gain weight. I'm going to record that down here. Um, let's go in the kitchen. I already took my salmon out because that's what we're having for dinner today. And then we're just having a salad for lunch. Uh, I want to mention that I totally forgot about chickpeas in the grocery list. So... For lunch, we're supposed to be eating a Greek salad. The recipe is in the cookbook if you have the cookbook. If not, all of the cookbook recipes are available a la carte on the site if you wanted to buy like just one of the recipes. But um, I totally forgot about chickpeas. Like, So you can get chickpeas if you like. I'm not going to, I'm just going to eat Greek salad by itself. Um, but I took the salmon out of the freezer that way that can thaw out for dinner but yeah that is what is going on i'm super excited for you guys to start this with me make sure you are subscribed also follow me on instagram because i will be pretty much vlogging my whole life on instagram every single day when it comes to this challenge and i also would love to start some sort of like maybe instagram like dm message group or maybe like a close friends group with people that are also doing the challenge. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think is best or DM me on Instagram. I'll be active on all of my social media platforms for the next few days, like super, super active, um, just because the challenge is starting, you know, and I just want everybody to stick to it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the gym so that I can eat my breakfast because I'm ready for this green smoothie, okay? Thank y'all so much for watching. Happy challenge day. Happy challenge 21 days, okay? And I will catch you guys in the weekly update video, the cook with me. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and 